Hey guys, welcome back. So now we are working on problem number two, which says if x is, is an angle in quadrant two and sine of x is equal to one third, then tangent of x equals what? So one thing you want to be sure you know is when each trigonometric function is positive and when it's negative. So if you look over here to your right, you will see this unit circle which is actually going to tell you when sine is positive or negative, cosine is positive or negative, and when tangent is positive or negative. So here is, this is quadrant one over here. Here we have quadrant two. Here we have quadrant three down here. And then this down here is quadrant four. And you can notice you always start up here and then you basically just increase it by one going counterclockwise. So if you notice, sine is going to be positive in quadrants one and quadrants two. And why is that? That's because the sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, also known as y over r. So in this case, y is just going to be the y value and r is going to be the radius of the circle, of this unit circle. So therefore, since in quadrants one and two, you're dealing with these positive y values, that's gonna make sine positive in quadrants one and two. Cosine, on the other hand, cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse or the x value over r, or the radius. So cosine, you'll notice, is going to be positive in quadrants one and quadrants four. And again, that's because in quadrants one and four, you're dealing with these positive x values, and therefore that's going to make your cosine positive as well. So now let's talk about tangent. So the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, or y over x. So this one kind of has a bit of a different pattern, I guess you could say because it's going to be positive in quadrants one and quadrants three. So it's kind of across from each other instead of the quadrants being next to each other. And why is that? Well, that's because since you're dividing y by x, if cosine and sine are both positive or both negative, then tangent is gonna be positive. And that's because a positive divided by a positive is a positive and negative divided by a negative is a positive. However, if sine is positive and cosine is negative, or if sine is negative and cosine is positive, the tangent is gonna be negative. And again, that's because a positive divided by a negative is a negative, or a negative divided by a positive is also a negative. So again, I recommend um, definitely having this chart uh, memorized or, or at least conceptually mastered so that you can tell when each function is positive when. So anyway, so going back to the question. So now that we know that, we know it's gonna be in quadrant two, so it's gonna be up here in this upper left area. And if the sine is equal to one third, that means the length of the hypotenuse, or I guess in this case, the radius is going to be three, and the opposite side is going to be one. So let's draw something like this. We'll just say something like that, okay. And you guys can kind of ignore these um, ones because this isn't gonna be the proper circle, so you can just kind of cross those out. Don't worry about those. This is only for a unit circle. Okay, so we have this side, the opposite side equal to one, and we have this radius equal to three. This is theta. And so the first thing we are going to have to do is find this x value here. We already have the y value, which, which is what we need for the tangent, but now we need to find this value here, so I'm just going to call this x. So using the Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to get one squared plus x squared is equal to three squared. So I'm gonna get one plus x squared is equal to nine, x squared is equal to eight. I'm gonna square root both sides, and I'm going to get x is equal to the square root of eight. Well, I should say plus or minus. And in this case, looking at this graph, since it's in the negative x direction, this x is actually going to be equal negative square root of eight. So now we have our y value, which is right here, this one, and we have our x value, which is negative root eight. 
So let's take a look at our answer choices and we see that we have this answer right here, letter A. We have negative one over root eight. So again, just some general tips. I recommend starting out by figuring out when each function is gonna be positive or negative, and then just using the Pythagorean theorem to solve the length of the remaining side, and then you should be set. All right, well, thank you for watching and good luck on your exam.